Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, The Crafty Quinn. My name is Megan and I love to make DIY decor out of mostly Dollar Tree items. Now, if you love decor, DIY decor, or Dollar Tree, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button. So today I have for you seven pumpkin crafts using Dollar Tree's fall 2021 decor mostly. And I'm really excited to get started and we're wasting no time today, we're jumping right in. I'm actually using these brand new wooden cutouts from Dollar Tree. Now, if you find them, definitely grab a bunch because this is going to require four. So I'm just painting them first with that plaster color from Waverly. And you can use whatever color you like, but this is just the color that I'm going with for this because I didn't want it to be so stark white. So I wanted it to have a little bit of an ivory feel. But as you see here, I'm actually just going in using a lot of antique wax. <laughs> I feel like it used maybe a little bit too much on this one, but I'm actually taking those little swabs that you saw there. And that was kind of like a, like a dental swab kind of thing. And I actually got this for a different reason, but I wanted to kind of use that to antique these. So next I'm taking these Hobby Lobby stickers and I actually got these half off, but if you buy them at normal price, they're about 10 bucks, but I got them for half price on one of their sale days. And I've been saving these letters for a special occasion and I could not wait to use these for this craft. So this is why you're going to need four pumpkins because we are going to spell out the word fall. <laughs> and when they're all together and they're all put together like this, it looks so cute. And I will say that I did have to kind of use some glue stick on the L's. For some reason, the L letters uh, didn't want to stick as well as the other two. So you might just have to go in, maybe Mod Podge over it, or just use a little bit of your glue stick just to make sure that they're really gonna stick down. And you can you can even cover this whole thing in Mod Podge or like a, a clear spray as well if you wanna make this an outdoor craft like I'm going to show you. So I did add the raffia back onto these. The, they each came with some raffia. So I had taken them off and then I ended up putting them back on because I thought it was a perfect way to finish off this craft. So you're probably wondering why I'm gluing this, <laughs> but that is because we are going to stack these all together and make this one big sign. So I wanted the pumpkins kind of each one pointing the different direction, just slightly kind of. And then we're gonna have the L going the opposite way. So these only required a little bit of hot glue and they held really well. So I didn't need to use anything else, but you, but if you want, you could use some wood glue or you could use some E6000 with this hot glue as well. But it all depends on where you want to put this as well, because I'm not sure still if I want this to be an outdoor craft or if I want this to be in the house somewhere. So I'm still deciding that personally. So I'm actually popping off of, of, off of this sign. I took the little, the truck off of the top of this because I wanted the, just the, the stake that came with it because it was like the perfect length to go behind this sign. And I thought about putting this piece behind the very top of it too, just for some extra support. I may go back, add some popsicle sticks to kind of hold those together, but it held up really nice on its own. And then this is the end result. So you can put this in a little planter on your porch. Marcus was <laughs> very curious as to what I was doing outside. <laughs> Um, but this is what it looks like with the steak at the very bottom. And this is my favorite craft probably from today's video, honestly. So I hope you guys liked it. So this is a no-sew pumpkin. This took very, very minimal steps. I didn't even use any hot glue. I'm just using one of Dollar Tree's brand new infinity scarves. And this is their Halloween scarf, obviously. <laughs> and it's just so cute because it's like orange and black plaid and when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for a DIY. Wasn't sure necessarily how I wanted to do this, but then it kind of came together quickly because cloth pumpkins are very much in right now. And hello, Marcus. <laughs> he makes a lot of cameos in today's videos, so I, I thought you guys would be happy to see him. He had a lot of fun. He suddenly was like, I'm very interested in your crafts today, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an appearance. Or two, or three. So... Here, I'm just, okay, so I had to kind of poke a hole in the middle of this pumpkin with the scissors and just kind of shove down the cloth a little bit and it holds it really well. This is why I didn't need any hot glue or anything like that. You just keep doing that and you just use your scissors to push it down and that's really all it needs. 
So you're kind of bunching it up and just kind of folding over those pieces. Anytime you have like a, a little end that's sticking out, I would just kind of fold over the next piece on top of it to cover it up and kind of hold it in place as well. I didn't bother painting this pumpkin underneath because the scarf is orange and I thought, you know what, I could just layer this up a bunch of a bunch of times with the scarf and I could just cover it and then I won't even need to paint it or anything. So this requires very, very few steps and I wanted it that way for a reason because definitely I've had a lot of time consuming pumpkins, but this one is very, very fast. So this is the other half of the scarf. I'm now doubling it up. I'm just going back over what I did before and just doing the same thing. This scarf, because it was an infinity scarf, was really, really long. So I could easily cover this pumpkin twice and still have a little bit of fabric left over. I bought two of these scarves thinking that I would need them both or I could just you know, make another one, but I only needed one and I still had a bunch of fabric left over. So I highly recommend picking up this scarf if you find it. I just found it over in Dollar Tree's Halloween section. So there was an end that was sticking out there and you saw me, I just covered it up there, just kind of wrapped around it and then kind of holding it up like you're holding up a scrunchie. And then you see me just poking it down with my scissors and making sure it was tightly held in place. So then once you cut off the excess cloth there, I did take a wine cork on a little toothpick <laughs> and just put that right in the very middle and I'm just covering it up now with some Spanish moss and just doing some last adjustments. I can't wait to make another one of these pumpkins since now I have an extra scarf. <laughs> but this was very affordable, budget friendly, and very cute. So, what do you guys think? Do you think it turned out good? So like I said, my name is Megan. This is Marcus, the Crafty Kitty, as we call him, my assistant. And if you're loving the DIYs, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications so you never miss a new upload. If you're interested in supporting my channel further and would like to buy me a coffee or craft supplies, this link here at the bottom is the way to do it. And this link is also in my video's description as well. Thank you for always supporting us and we love reading your comments. So <laughs> with that being said, let's head back to the crafts. So for this next video, uh, next video, this next craft, <laughs> sorry guys, the late night crafting. Um, I'm just taking two of these Dollar Tree crates and I love these ones. These are the ones that have the spaces obviously in between. They have two kinds of these Dollar Tree wooden uh, crates ones that have the spaces in between like this and ones that do not. So you're gonna want these. I mean, you can you can certainly use the other ones, but the reason I'm doing, I'm doing it with these is because I like the appearance of the spaces and, and you can clearly tell that they're crates and not so much with the other ones if you decide to use the ones without the spaces. So I'm just doing some last sanding on these before I paint them because there was a lot of little splinters and just, these are really rough pieces. I'm using some orange matte paint and this you can find at Michael's. It's just, it's, it doesn't really have a special name. It's just orange, <laughs> but um, it is a matte color. So it is a matte acrylic. It is not a chalk paint. So definitely you can use whichever orange paint you fancy. So I covered both of these crates completely in this orange color. And definitely that's just all you're gonna wanna do. I mean, this is a really, really easy craft. So once they're all completely covered in paint, then I just hot glued on the wine corks. So you're gonna be seeing me use wine corks for stems of a lot of pumpkins today. So just be warned, you're gonna need a, a lot of wine for this video. <laughs> I hope that's not a problem or you can use whatever you want. You can use some sticks from outside. There's just so many different options that you can do for pumpkin stems. So I'm taking some of that green Dollar Tree raffia. I went back to Dollar Tree recently and I found it and I was so happy because I had the two other new fall, new fall colors that they have. They kind of have a maroon raffia. Maybe you've seen me use that in my Apple video. That was just 
I think the last one before this one. And there is more like a burnt orange color raffia as well. But I went back and I found the green one. So I thought that was perfect for pumpkin stems. So I'm using these, these dental swabs again. So these I found on Amazon. I saw a crafter use these recently in a video and I was like, these would be great. But you're not actually supposed to use these for <laughs> the way I'm using them. I'm just using them a different way to distress it, but I just kind of saw them kind of using it like a sponge. So I'm using it a slightly different way to distress it, but I actually really like it. So I ended up loving the way these turned out. So we're about halfway through, I think. So what is your favorite DIY so far? And so we're about to go move on now to these wooden pumpkins right here. So I have two different kinds of wooden uh, circle pumpkins, if you will, for today's video. And these are actually pumpkins that I've been wanting to make for a while. I just couldn't find all of the pieces that I needed to make these. So definitely be warned that if you wanna make these, just know that it may take you a little bit to find the pieces and you may just have to use something else as a substitute like I did in other videos. These are all Dollar Tree oval plaques. These are something new that they just came out with. It's in their Dollar Tree Crafter Square section. And this is why it took me a while to make this DIY because I could never find three ovals. <laughs> I could never find three oval plaques. But I finally did, so I was like, let's do it. Let's make it for this video. So I'm using that dental swab again, just to take it around the edges. And I'm kind of using this instead of my chippy brush. It, it was definitely taking me a little bit to kind of learn how to best use this. And like I said, this is not the intended purpose of these little sponges anyway. You're supposed to technically kind of just press down like a sponge around the edges of it and kind of do some distressing that way. I'm not sure if you've seen some other crafters start to do this recently, but I just saw this in, a, in some video that I watched the other day and I wanted to give it a try. And I'm so sorry, I can't remember the name of the video, <laughs> but it just kind of came up on my recommended and I started watching it. But anyway, I ended up ordering these little swabs. So I have linked them down for you below. So definitely give them a try. Tell me if you think those are easier to work with or chippy brushes. Let me know. I'm still kind of deciding, but it's they're fun to play around with. So I definitely messed up on, on this little oval a lot, but that's fine. It just looks some extra distressed. I'm just making sure to get the edges of this little oval plaque. So now you're just gonna wanna hot glue these all together. Maybe you saw me do this in my fall cottage core video. I did something like this and these were the ones that I wanted to make and at the time I couldn't find the ovals for. So now I'm finally doing it. It's coming full circle. So I'm so excited to show you guys how this turns out. So it's kind of like you're stacking them together a little bit. And then, well, I forgot to take the stickers off the back of these. Never mind that. So just make sure you do that. But when you have them all stacked together like that, it looks like a cute little pumpkin. I think this is Marcus's third or fourth appearance at this point. I'm not sure, but... He was really interested today and I was happy to have him. I think I just mentioned to you guys recently in my last video that he suddenly wasn't really interested in my crafting anymore. Well, that changed today. <laughs> so we're gonna finish this off with a wine cork stem and some green raffia. And that's all, all, that's all it needs. Sometimes less is more. So here's another wooden pumpkin. This is another one that I wanted to make. And like I said, could not find the ovals. Well, when I went to Dollar Tree, I think this, I think it was this weekend, I ended up finding all of the ones that I could never find before and I'm finally making. So really excited to show you guys how this one turns out as well. I thought I was gonna paint this. I thought I was gonna put some scrapbook paper on this. No, I went a completely different direction with this. I located some of those leopard print scarves and by the way, they should have them in stores right now because they 
they're already starting to put out scarves and whatnot, you know, because we're heading into fall. So they have this kind of leopard print color scarf at Dollar Tree every year. And so those are back out now. And I decided to, to turn this into a pumpkin. So as you saw, I just hot glued everything down and then I just cut around it easily that way. That was just so much faster. And then once you have the completely covered, just stacking them just like I did with the other one. And we're gonna make a larger version of the other one. So when you stack them all together like that, it really comes out looking like a pumpkin. And now I'm just taking this other Dollar Tree monogram sign and I love the little metal leaf embellishment on it. So we're just gonna use that. And we're also gonna use the raffia as well. So once you finally have that off of there, we are gonna first use a another wine cork, of course. <laughs> I used the only dark wine cork I had. I thought it would look really cool with this. And then we're gonna stick down that embellishment and we're gonna glue the raffia right on top. But we are not quite done yet. Last but not least, we're gonna add this cute little Dollar Tree metal sign, Harvest. I managed to track one down that I had uh, from last year. I haven't found them yet this year, but they have these little metal signs every year, and this is the end result. So this is super, this is a super, super quick DIY. You could barely even call it a DIY, but I wanted to include this in there because when I found these cute little Dollar Tree treat bags, I was like, okay, definitely not in my mind was I going to put candy in them. <laughs> I was like, no, we're gonna turn these into cute little fluffy, I don't know, um, pumpkin little little sacks for the uh, for a tiered tray. So that's kind of my thought process when I saw these. These would look so cute on the very top of a tiered tray, and that is exactly how I'm gonna use them in my house. So you're just gonna wanna take some stuffing and just make sure the bag is almost completely full about three quarters of the way as you can see I left a big top there and then that is perfect because we're just gonna cinch that with some green raffia and that's not all we are going to add a cute little green raffia bow as well this definitely gave me a little bit of trouble there. <laughs> I was kind of just deciding how I wanted this to look because I kind of wanted the bow to look very full. So you see me doing this cute little raffia bow here, but then I actually did something else. I kind of tied a bunch of other raffia pieces together and that is gonna go directly behind this bow because I wanted the bow itself to kind of look kind of fluffed out a bit besides just cutting all of the ends off. So. To make it more full looking, I did just kind of glue that behind this. And that's what you see me doing here. So that is the first one that's not a bow, it's just a bunch of raffia pieces glued together. But then I kind of realized it was a little bit too much and it wasn't really full, it was just kind of like all stacked on top of each other. So I did pull out a couple of those pieces because it was just too much. Kind of reminded me of like a, a carrot or something. <laughs> if you didn't have the, the jack-o'-lantern face on this, I feel like it would kind of remind you more like a, like a carrot or something. So then, then we're just gonna hot glue the bow right on top and that's really all this needs. It is a super, super quick DIY. And then you have a cute little tiered tray decoration. So next we have this little sign. This is a fall sign from Dollar Tree's new fall decor. And so are these little pumpkin cutouts, but I think they have them every year. I've gotten so many packs of those little wooden cutouts. They have some great ones this year. They had apples, they had those little hot cocoa cups that I turned into some pumpkin spice treats that you may have seen in my pumpkin spice video. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. That one was so fun. And I just, I really had a blast with that. So I hope you guys like it as much as I had 
so much fun doing, so definitely check that out. So this, I, I was kind of just gluing this on quickly and it is totally lopsided, but that's okay. <laughs> it does not need to be perfectly straight. It's fine. This one was just kind of more of just kind of like a, a more of a just a fun DIY. I just want to kind of just, I just kind of wanted to see how this would turn out. Sorry, I can't really talk today, but I just wanted to see how this one was going to turn out. I wasn't even sure if I was going to like it or not. So I was just kind of messing around here, but then it ended up turning into a really cute one. So I decided to keep it for the video. So we're just going to paint this pumpkin cutout completely with the white Waverly chalk paint. I wanted this to have a very light color on the pumpkin because of the word that I want to kind of stand out more and be the focal point. So once you have it painted completely, I am going to use some Waverly Antique Wax on the stem and just kind of stain the stem a little bit. It did have a hole at the very top in it because you can turn this into an ornament of some kind. So I just took some spackle and I filled in that hole and then now I'm just staining over it. So next I am taking the word October and I am putting it on this pumpkin. This came from another one of Hobby Lobby's sticker packs. This, I believe it was $2.99 for the whole thing, but I think I also got this one for half price when they were having a sale. So after you stick the October sticker on there, then you just want to hot glue it right in the middle. This one does not require a lot of steps. I love some easy DIYs and I'm sure you guys appreciate that too. <laughs> So we are not quite done yet. There's just one more step. We are going to add a little raffia bow. Can you tell I like raffia? <laughs> and of course, Marcus saw me playing with raffia and he came running right over. <laughs> so I was playing with him for a little bit. Uh, I just love that he is back to appreciating my crafts. I swear he did not actually eat any raffia, I promise. He just, he, he thought he caught it, but he did not. He's good. <laughs> so we're just gonna wrap this all together and just make a little bow. So once you have the bow all wrapped up, you're just going to want to hot glue it to the very top middle. And then this is how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite DIY from today. And if you want to watch more videos, check them out here on the left. And let's keep in touch on Instagram. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys next week. Bye.